Okay, welcome back to my little uh, Spark Fun Inventors Kit series here. Uh, if you watched the first video, you know we unboxed everything, took a look at the parts. I didn't know any of the names, I learned them now from the uh, little guide they have with it. Uh, but after that, we installed the Arduino IDE and installed some drivers on our little board here. Uh, so let's go over the parts because now we are ready to make our first circuit. So uh, here we've got this uh, base. And here we have our Arduino board ready to go. A couple screws to lock it in place. A screwdriver to help with that. This guy, it's called a breadboard. I was right about what it does before. It basically uh, allows you to make electrical connections from the board uh, and your components here without having to solder anything. So you can just kind of plug in the wires real quick and fast. Make some easy uh, prototypes that way. If you're actually building something, you probably want to, you know, solder stuff together and make it a little stronger. Uh, anyways, we've got a few wires here, an LED and one resistor. So our project here is basically to make a blinking light. So why don't we start? First thing we'll do, of course, is uh, screw this guy into place. So you can see the screwdriver that comes with the kit here. Uh, it's got a flat end, but no problem. You can switch it. Boom. Oh, it doesn't want to go back in. Maybe not so boom. There we go. Now we have a nice Phillips head. So we'll take that and screw it right in. Oh, helps if I have it in the right place. Now, of course, you don't want to screw it in too tight and start stripping screws or whatever. Just enough to keep it in place. It should be good. It's really, uh, you know, just so it doesn't fly around on you and everything kind of stays together. It's convenient. Okay, so looking good there. Breadboard goes right in here. So uh, if you can see on the back here, there's a, a sticker. So I'm gonna take that off right now. And I'm gonna stick it in like so. Here we go, stay, oops, yeah, there we go, all right. All stuck down and in. Nice. Ah, okay, so I don't need to wait that for that set or anything. It's all locked down. Uh, so now that we've got uh, the basic part set up here, I'm gonna plug it in and uh, let's see how this goes. So it's already hooked up to the USB uh, my computer. We'll just uh, plug this in right here and voila. Oh, that was my computer saying hi. So, looks like we got something working. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, so basically, like I said, we're gonna be building a uh, blinking light here. So, uh, basically, we have uh, this resistor. Let's put it in. Okay, what we're gonna need to do is, uh, you can't just put it in like this, obviously. So these wires here, they're actually very easy to bend. I don't know if you can see those. Ah, let me get this right in the camera here. These little guys. Can you see? Eh, look at my hand. Yeah, there we go. So these little guys, you can just bend really easily. Okay, that makes it easier to stick into the, into the breadboard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stick this from uh, here, one of these negative terminals into a, uh, one of the rows here. And let's see how that goes in. Come on. Yeah, so you just kind of slide it in. You'll feel a little give, but then you'll see it just sits right there pretty nicely. Uh, actually, I'm gonna put that up one more row. So it's more like the diagram in the book in case you're following along. Uh, this LED, so you can see here, uh, I'll put that a little closer if I can too. Come on, focus on my hand. Yeah, okay, so you'll see one end is shorter than the other. Uh, that This shorter end is the negative end. So you want to be careful uh, which way you put it in, uh, because if you put it in one way, it won't work. Uh, and if you put it in the right way, it will work. But if you do put it in uh, the wrong way, not to worry, uh, it shouldn't really cause a problem. You shouldn't be damaging the part as far as I know, or at least no permanent damage. 
So we are going to stick it in like this with the uh, short uh, negative end in the same one as we put our resistor, I believe. So let's do that. And, oh, they both went in the same one. Oops, easy. There we go. Okay, so we've got our light in. Uh, all right, why don't we hook up our uh, wires here? So let's see. First of all, we need our little green wire. It doesn't really matter the colors that you use, uh, but if you want to follow the instructions, okay. Uh, this jumper wire here will go from here e to. Here. Okay, so we're gonna plug that. We're gonna do this in first. We're gonna go with one, two, three, four. This can be a little bit difficult. Here, 13. And then this is gonna go to E2. So that's in. Alright. And this black wire is going to be our uh, like our ground wire. So we're going to plug that into the ground here. You can see there's actually two. I don't think it matters which. And then basically you plug this to some negative terminal. So we'll just do this guy at the end. Get it in there. Oh, did you see it? Oh, look, it's flashing. Magic. Wow. How to do that? All right. Uh, let's see. And then this uh, this guy is the five volt. Oh, you know what? I probably plugged that into the. No, I didn't. Okay, so let's plug this into the five volt, and this five volt is going to plug into the positive terminal. There we go. So, we have a flashing light. Wow, great. I didn't even have to <laughs> install any code on the, the, the board yet. Wow, okay, that's very strange. Uh, but I'm gonna do that anyway, so um, yeah, let's go take a look at that now. Uh, so, we've got uh, our stuff already set here. Now, in the last video, I said you could uh, download the examples kind of anywhere you want. You should actually install those under where you installed Arduino under examples. But uh, yeah, so what we're going to do here is uh, we have our board already set up from before. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our examples because that's where we put our stuff. So look, if we go to SIK. Oof, where is it? SIK guide code 32, which is what we installed there. Uh, we can do circuit one, which is the circuit from the Spark Fun Inventors kit book. Pop that in. Oh, look at that. Look at what comes up. Kaboom. So why don't we uh, take a look at this over here? All right, so we've got some comments. Who it's written by. I have no idea how to program with this Arduino thing. I've heard it's easy. So why don't we try and take a look at the code? Uh, where that we've got here so la 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 okay yes welcome blah 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 here's some setup oh there's lots of explanation here you should take the time and read but uh, oh so we hooked up 13 13's our output that makes sense and here uh, we have a loop oh what's okay so here uh, it starts with the setup. Uh, the setup is all the initial stuff that has to run. So we're saying that pin 13 is going to output our uh, our current, I guess. And then loop, I think th this is what keeps running for the entire time the, the board is running. So this digital write 13, oh, you can see here, turns on the LED. Waits for one second. This is in milliseconds. This 1000. Yes, and then it turns off the LED So this high and low must mean on and off basically and this is for 13 So where we're supplying the current then wait another second It'll loop around turn on turn off keeps going on and on and on basically until Everything blows up end of the world cockroaches rule everything something like that or You could just unplug it from your computer that works too uh, but in this case 
even though when I hooked it up it seemed to already work, uh, we'll just go through the steps here anyway. So the first thing we need to do is verify the code, basically compiling the code to make sure that's all good. So oh, look at that, we got uh, some working going on here, We're checking. Uh, let's see, we got our messages down here. Do, 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 do. I can't read what that says. Can we make this bigger? Yes. No? Yes. Oh, okay, so it's just giving us some information here. Looks like we're all within range here, so we're not using too many bytes. That's a good thing to do. And then we upload this. So this will send it to our uh, red board and should make the light work. And sending, 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 done. Oh. Can't find the Whoa. Can't open it. That's a problem. Oh, maybe we should do. Uh, maybe we should do COM7. Try that. Zing! There we go. Done. Make sure. So I guess that's important. Make sure you sec select the right. Uh, Oh, where was that? Oh yes, make sure you select the right port. I just had it on serial ports, I guess. You have to actually make sure you select it. And then you can uh, upload it to your device. So, I'm looking at it right now. It's working just like it was before. Uh, I'll show you again, and uh, that's it. So, as you can see, uh, I've made my first circuit. Give you a little close-up view here. There goes the LED, blinking on and off every second. Uh, yeah, so there we go. I'm pretty pleased. Uh, hopefully it'll get more complicated from here, but the, the basics don't seem so hard. I did it by myself. If I can do it, you can do it too. Uh, so, thanks for watching and wish me luck on my next project.